my last vlog, I found out why Cyberjaya is called the capital of creation. As a smart city model, Cyberjaya offers a robust innovation ecosystem that comprises of infrastructure, community, incentives, and of course, talent. Aligning itself with TN50's goals, Cyberjaya continues to contribute to Malaysia's technology innovation output. Cyberjaya's innovative talent pool is one of its strengths. I speak to both ends of the talent pipeline spectrum to learn about how Cyberjaya is helping to prepare innovation talent for the future. Cyberjaya's award-winning Multimedia University, or MMU, is one of the top universities preferred by local ICT players to offer employment. MMU understands that the future lies in technology and is adamant to help shape people who will help make a better tomorrow. Its newly appointed president, Professor Datuk Dr. Amar Rafi Muhammad Ishak, is a spunky man with high expectations for MMU and his graduates. He explains the urgency for transformation and why the industry needs to work hand in hand for quality industry ready talents. For future universities, you cannot run away from industry collaborations. We initiate what we call it uh, industry trendsetter. We don't want to become follower, we want to become the industry trendsetter. Programs that we offer and talent that we prepare, especially for our students, is actually ready for the industry and we want to go beyond that. I asked Professor Rafi, what are the critical skills should students develop to be industry ready? They must master their own domain, so that's very important. Secondly, I think the communication skills. That one you cannot run away, uh, especially when it comes to interpersonal skills and so on. So these are the one that we need to train them. We have a training ground in different dimensions. Number one, of course, in class. In many instances, we have outside the class. So that's very important for the student. To me, when it comes to creativity, the ambience and environment is very, very important. So it's not just that uh, just because you know how to draw, or you know how to animate and so on, but your surrounding has to be the right surrounding. He also shares the new teaching method he is pushing for MMU, studio learning. Studio learning is no longer like typical class. Your class is not in the class. Your class should be... I mean, outside and so on. So in the creative industry, uh, we are used to that kind of nature. So I'm trying to basically expose that kind of nature to a more, I would say that, faculty or maybe programs uh, which is a bit rigid in that kind of nature. It's typical class, exams and so on. Because uh, at the end of the day, these graduates will be taking right. what they learn in theory right. practically and it might, they might as well start doing it then and there than being shocked. Correct. So now I'm pushing the university to go for horizontal because in real business, we are doing that. Of course, you, you cannot convince 100% of the, of course, uh, as far as staff is concerned. But I'm very, very sure that students is the one that like it. So my client, honestly, is actually, of course, the students. I don't expect the class to have table and chairs anymore. So I start to basically push at least um, one or two labs need to have this kind of nature for each faculty. But it's not easy to break the traditional, typical programs and faculties, which is a, a bit rigid in nature. Well, Rome wasn't built in a day, so... Right. And I think so somebody you, has to push that. And you, it'll be you, the man. Yeah. Well, speaking of innovation and stuff, because you're very far, uh, forward-thinking, um, what are some of the courses offered in MMU that would be aimed directly at contributing to our national goals, especially on innovation, entrepreneurship, and readiness of a digital Okay, economy? if you ask me in terms of uh, programs, the courses and programs that we are offering here, uh, we have to make sure that it is uh, in demand, especially by the industry. Uh, I have basically imposed to all the deans that, if possible, uh, finally a project has to be real one, not not like something which you feel that is cool to do. I like Sabajaya, that's why I'm I'm here until today. What I'm suggesting for Sabajaya is that feel free to explore new things. You cannot do all this traditional way of doing things and you have to allow failures. While you are going for all this new techy stuff and so on, mm -hmm. not to forget on, again on our environment, but I think we need to have that balance that makes us different as compared to others. I absolutely agree. 
then takes me to MMU's state-of-the-art Innovate Lab. This classroom of the future promotes collaborative learning among students. This lab, we are pushing the boundaries of uh, collaborative learning. Meaning that, let's say you have one question, so you have four groups to answer. So let's see if that table is the one that answer correctly. So you can share your views and you can see all in that view at one screen. Is this concept new here in Malaysia or is there, are there any other universities or mm. educational hubs that are, have taken on? I would say that uh, I've yet to see the execution. We don't want this to be a showcase, we want it to be used for in the class. And so we give even reward to our lecturers, those who really innovate in terms of teaching. Yeah. You need to innovate how you make it your class interesting. If the students are really looking forward to come to your class, that is a good sign. The Innovate Lab is furnished with four multi-touch tables where each table accommodates up to six students. Compared to the traditional lab setting, the students are able to access the interactive elements concurrently on the same display using their fingers. Besides Innovate Lab, several other laboratories have been established to realise MMU's transformation plan. This includes the Smart Lab and Emoot Court. Honestly, I'm changing their class to be not like a clinic. <laughs> you have to understand, you see, because they will be spending years and then almost every day. You, see? you just imagine that if every day you go to hospitals. How are you doing in terms of fees? Is it competitive compared to ah, other We are competitive. We, we don't go for, I mean, like too crazy. the higher to crazy now. This is MMU's Home and Lifestyle Centre. Program Coordinator Dr. Ui Chi Pun gives us a demo of the place. Alexa, please turn off the kitchen light. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. It's off. Yeah. Luckily Alexa having the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, please turn on the intro. Okay. Okay. Now it was my turn to tell Alexa what to do. But how, is there a tone? Because you just said that. And no, we just say it normally, naturally, Alexa. Alexa, turn the kitchen light on. Okay. Whoa, okay, that was cool. <laughs> Alexa, make me coffee. <laughs> now. Cooking is beyond me at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess there's only so much a machine can do. This centre allows students to use it as their test bed or living lab for their innovations. Pretty much like what Cyberjaya is all about. From time to time, you may have uh, different researchers doing different things. So, they can test here. For over 20 years, MMU has produced nearly 50,000 highly skilled graduates. One successful alumni of MMU who has won multiple awards in and out of the country is Mohammad Nizam Abdurraza. Nizam is the co-founder and CEO of Animonsa Studios, creators of internationally acclaimed Bobo Boy. Before Animonster came about, Nizam worked for Lesko Park Production in 2005, a 3D animation company where he learnt the ropes. But Nizam had his own dreams to pursue and so after three years, he ventured out with a little help from his friends. So we had the opportunity to actually meet with MDAC. So they had this program called Mac3 Incubation Program. So over there you have this very minimal uh, rental one seat is about 50 ringgit, so you have like software, hardware, and your own office space. But you have to share with others, like incubation program, right? So we started with only seven people, and we we grew, I think, I think about 21, 21 orang. And then after that, we sort of graduate from from that program, and now we are here in Coplace Three, uh, 80 people right now. Why did you choose MMU? MMU because, I, in in my opinion, at that point of time, just two reasons because for me that's the best place if you want to learn about multimedia that's the first reason the second reason is like there's a free internet over there <laughs> at the point of time I think 
speed dia memang laju lah as compared to normal internet outside right and then you have these best lecturers over there you know the lecturers are from the industry when you sit down with a le lecturer that have been in the industry for 20 years a different level altogether you know i still remember one of my lecturers he kept on rejecting 300 of us so he kept on rejecting and then after that he told us that i keep on rejecting you be not because of in not in a way not because of our work but because i want to teach you how to accept rejection you know because these are the real world because you will face rejection in the real world you know you were a student in mmu you ventured out and yet you're back here in cyberjaya hmm. why the magnet you see <laughs> There's a magnet in Sabajaya, you know, like there's two reasons basically. So the first thing like I'm attracted to Sabajaya because there's so many things in my life based in, based in Sabajaya. You know, I found my wife, Sabajaya, I mean Sabajaya. And then I found my partners also Sabajaya, you know. And then I learned from a lot of mentors in Sabajaya as well. You know, we have these government agencies, you know, MDAC. Uh, we have MCMC over here. So you want, if you want to go into the creative industry, you want to go into animation industry. This, this is the best place. You know, you can find a lot of creative companies over here. You can also, you know, ask guidance. How do you set up your company? You have magic over here. This ecosystem for me is complete. And the most important thing for me is the talent over here. So over here, you have a lot of good. Uh, institutions, you know, including like MMU, we have Lincoln Wing, we have Carew Academy. It's easy to find talents over here, especially local talents. And what would your advice be to those budding students or those who are interested in following the career path that you've you've gone and successfully done so? Follow your passion, I guess. Creative people, um, for me, you need to be disciplined. You know, that's I think what's lacking mostly, I guess, from creative. Part because we are creative people, right? So we thought, okay, uh, well, I, I just start sampai lagi. So maybe we should wait next week, you know. But we have deadline to meet, you know. We have clients, we have uh, partnership. So we have to make sure that we can deliver our creativity within a, a certain period of time. A certain condition have to be met. So I, we have to instill discipline. Then only you can make good product, you know. Then only you can make great product. If not. Uh, you have this idea but cannot finish on time or cannot be finished at all. So what's your future like now? What's what's your plans? Oh, to have your future. own building? <laughs> <coughs> uh, eh? <laughs> uh, the future, I guess, we have to create more animations. Um, we have Boba right now, so Boba Galaxy. Um, we are going to production for Boba Boy second movie. Hopefully, we can get it out by end of 2018. Hopefully. And then we also have uh, a deal with Takara Tomi to create uh, animation called Stoppy. We have also Mekamato, which is our own IP. But we are working with Bandai uh, to, in a way, like go as a production and also the toy maker. Animonster Studios is also collaborating with the Pokemon company under its subsidiary company, Monster Licensing. They are now in negotiation to bring in the latest season of the Pokemon TV series, Pokemon Sun and Moon, onto local television screens. Nizam is also thinking about expanding his cast. We've been thinking, you know, why not create more for the girls, you know? Because I had the three orang anak, again, so two lelaki, one perempuan. So it's be sing, you know? Bila nak create watak yang more animation, more like girl is, right? So I thought, yeah, it's a good idea. I think a lot of animation focus more on boys. Uh, it would be great if we have something for the girls as well. Boba Boy is a kid superhero with superpowers that enables him to transform to up to seven versions of himself, each with unique abilities. Boy, the model. Okay. Like, imagine that you have this clay that you mold the clay to shape it to be like a human shape in a way, like Boba Boy shape, and then kita rig it. You know, like puppet kan, you letak tali semua yeah. kan, so that it, they can move, move. Uh, but that's more traditional this is more digital you can see oh, controller wow. there she moved that part the, uh, oh uh, we try to make it like before the actual episodes yeah we try tak sama pun macam dalam gambar itu bapa saya ma sekarang dia sudah tua kasih saya jaga lah nama pun abeng and sons ah uh. oh macam tu who's the voice of boom ah adik fatiha tak sama adik uh, she used to voice for opinion Nipin. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, boy, boy is a good. Kalau perempuan ni tak pecah. Kalau yeah, lelaki kan, after right. tu dah uh, tak boleh pakai dah suara. Being in the creative line, is Nizam flexible when it comes to getting work done in time? 
Kalau macam animation right uh. Kalau you tak siap animation This is animation punya department mm. If you don't animate it There's nothing to be colored In a way So, oh, so uh, they have to finish Then they, finish, they move then to they here Then they move to color And then they will move to the fine compositing And then they will go to editing So it's like a circle Cuma tak nampak kat sini lah But, okay. uh, but we We don't have to Kita tak nak buat macam a segment We make want to make it open space Not sure how many people actually know That Nizam also voices Papa Zola's character Akulah Papa Zola Musuh kejahatan Kekasih kebenaran You orang asal punya voice pun memang from you lah Yeah, actually, but Honestly, I cuba cari orang lain jadi buat suara uh. Sebab tak ada kan that I imagine Papa Zola to be certain In way In your head when you yeah, write it, yeah. right? For me, I like Papa Zola a lot Not because I voice of the the, the characters But he's a kind of character like he's like If you watch Papa Zola, he's like Tak betul lah, you know, like very tak betul character But he's a, the teacher of Bawa Boy Cikgu pada Bawa Boy And he has his own wisdom Dia boleh cakap something yang merepek tapi Ada wisdom in the in the punya sentence at the same time Siapa menangis? Siapa siapa? Ha? Kamu ke? Ngeleh cikgu Mengaku je lah nangis Macamlah kami tak nampak tadi <laughs> Kebenaran ah, Tak pernah menangis Kecuali ketika memotong bawang <laughs> So it's very hard character to write you know To write something in a way stupid But make sense at the same time That was an absolutely another mind-boggling interview With the CEO Annie Mosta Studios is behind. I've got some goodies for the kids. I am so proud of this homegrown brand who is making waves outside of Malaysia. I don't know how I'm going to edit this to shorten it like crazy. Nizam is just one fine example of a successful cyber jaya startup who has done extremely well in his respective field. So as you can see, innovation plays an integral role and is very, very part of the daily life right here in Cyberjaya. I'm about to see the chairman of Cyberbusiness in Burha to see what his vision is for Cyberjaya in the next 20 years. Okay, definitely. All right, Tansri, what's happening here? Uh, this is our tech hub enabler a car, mm -hmm. which is uh, running on uh, you know electric car. You know, we charge and it can go about 200 kilometers. You know. Okay. So let's go and try this electric car. Let's, let's go in. Chmana na bukani okay. Tansri, you wear so many hats, including some very serious portfolios. I reckon that you'll be someone that's quite rigid, but you seem to be very cool and hip, exactly what Cyberview is all about. Yeah, because I'm always with the youngsters, you know, trying to promote entrepreneurship. So I must be one of them, you know, rather than be, you know, different, you know, although there is an age gap. Now we are passing through these uh, solar panels, Ooh. you know, where it generates electricity and for our own building, we get electricity from this solar panel. Hold on a minute. Mm. You mean that is not just a pattern of your car park roof, that is actual solar panels? Yeah, solar panels, you know, so we want here to be everything green, you know, the car we are in is electric car. So this is the capital of a uh, creation mm -hmm. so everything need to be you know futuristic and speaking of future congratulations i see that our prime minister has a lot of confidence with cyber jaya and he's just made some really cool major announcements tell us a little bit more about that yeah among the announcement we are creating the new cyber city center this will be a futuristic city it, the first phase itself cost 11 billion Whoa. You know, so it will take another five years to build mm -hmm. and uh, it will contain the most modern city with modern equipments and so on and smart city. Now we are at the Obama Oval, you know, we call it Obama Oval because this area, the building in France, Magic, mm -hmm. was launched by Obama himself. Secondly, President Obama asked me when, when is this building or this establishment going to start? I told President Obama, it starts today because you are here to officiate opening of magic. And finally, to commemorate President Obama's visit, I'd like to announce that the oval kind of a, um, field in front of this center is going to be called Obama Oval, 002. 
That's it. Thank you. And this was a car park. We want to make it cool. I changed the car park into a green uh, grass area. So shall we stop here and get down? I think that's a great plan. Okay. Tazri, all the initiatives that has been announced by our Prime Minister seems to have one thing in common. Innovation. Do you think that innovation is going to be the key to Malaysia's future? Yeah, if you talk about growth, you know, there are many theories about growth. Growth, you know, with land, capital labour, that is the old theory of economics. But the new theory of economics, people believe that creativity and innovation is an input to growth. You know, even businesses, if they want to be relevant and forever sustainable in their income generation and so on, they must embrace innovation and creativity. 20 years down the road since it first was initiated, how are we doing so far? I mean, we have achieved a lot, you know. Form formally, we want to do, you know, like copy Silicon Valley, but it didn't work and that is a mistake. We shouldn't copy another entity. So we moved away and then it became a shared service center. But now we are coming back to make Cyberjaya as the capital of creation with new innovation, new products, new gadgets. And that's why, you know, we are moving forward with a lot of new things. First with magic, and then we have Cyberview who manage the whole area of Cyberjaya. And we are also, you know, building a futurized center. And I'll explain later when we go the other side to look at the futurized center. And when you look, the building front there is Dell and this side we have an empty space which we are going to build the entrepreneurship township for the youngsters, you know, to live, to work, play, eat and whatever they want to do. So they don't have to go anywhere. Everything is here, Everything right here, is smack here. in Cyber Jaya. Yeah. Tansri then invites me to check out the futurized building, this time on a bike. So we have this bike and it's modern. The way you need to unlock the bike or rent the bike, mm -hmm. you need to key in the apps oh. and uh, you get a barcode. You put the barcode onto the bike and it unlocks and you can rent it for one hour or two hours. Well, talk about technology, innovation and creativity. Hi guys! Hi. So Tansu was talking to us about the old bike. It's a smart bike, I'm guessing. So basically, old bike is convenient so for areas like this in Cyberview and Magic here you can cycle around for lunch maybe during lunch so I'm gonna take a little bike ride with Tansri we're gonna move over to the next building which is actually one of the initiatives announced by the Prime Minister back in May yeah. uh, 31st May yeah. Yeah, Are we ready? It's ready it's ready okay, okay so we're Let's gonna go. cycle over okay. there and I'll see you there Lama ni tak naik bicycle ni Tansri All right, since I don't have my GoPro, I'm with Tansri and we're riding to Futurize and he's going to tell me a little bit more about this, right Tansri? Yeah, You're sure. so fit, you're not like panting, I'm already panting here. <laughs> Futurize, we are here, I think we're going to stop soon, right? Yeah. This Futurize Centre was established in May and uh, we want to house all the innovation labs and design labs here. Futurize Centre is set to be the centre stage for corporate companies, universities and entrepreneurs to consolidate their efforts on community betterment. It will also pioneer innovations as well as prompting the national digital economy agenda. Futurize Centre so far, the commitment is from uh, Microsoft. They want to put a HoloLens lab you know and also do things like big data internet of things and we also have a clincher deal with united nation you know and magic they are going to put a lab on smart city that will help to develop the whole sabgajaya as a smart city and also another entity we are talking to is the tata uh, group you know they have tata alexis which uh, do animation you know and also creative you know, designing and so on. So we are working with them too. And we also have a collaboration with Tsinghua University. Tsinghua University is number three in the whole China. And uh, they are very good in AI, you know, artificial intelligence. So we are going into robotics, you know. 
Back in the car, Dhanshri? Yeah, back in the back car. Back in the car. They will cycle. Okay. <laughs> you know, the whole area is so nice and conducive for young entrepreneurs. If they get the training from Magic, if they want to open their own business, mm -hmm. we have Co Place 3. This space, we rent it out to the young entrepreneurs, the space, and it's very cheap, you know, affordable. If they don't have money, we even let them, you know, go in first and later pay. Yeah. During the launch of Futurize Center, the Prime Minister also established or launched the Cyberjaya Innovation Fund for the Future. Oh. And 100 million is allocated. So with that 100 million, what we are doing now, we are collaborating with the universities, with the research organization, with all entities involved in uh, innovation and try to bring them together to produce new products. Formerly, all these institutions, they work in silo. But what we are doing, come together, put your minds together. When minds come together, new ideas create. That's the whole idea of innovation. Tansri and his team are looking forward in strengthening Cyberjaya's offerings as a sandbox and playground for people to introduce and grow their innovative technology startup ideas. Under our startups, we have six. One is the program manager called Phoenix Capital, and the other five are the current startups from the current batch. So they are made up uh, from Luxtag, uh, there's M Hub, there's also uh, Tech Care Innovation, of which you can see uh, one of the things, uh, characters that they have developed uh, over there. Fitness. Ah, it's for fitness actually. That's something mm. for you. Uh, <laughs> it is for not just fitness, it's right. for rehabilitation I of see. people with uh, joint injuries. It will teach you how to balance at the same time teach you how to use your joints and recover from that. The focus for Co-Innovate is mainly around the smart city, which is what we are championing here in terms of testing and all that. But uh, again, it is not limited to just that. We will be expanding this to Co-Create, that looks at creative content. Nice. Uh, and the other one is Co-Medicate to support our hospital. Yeah, we are building a new hospital in Cyberjaya. Yeah. <laughs> a green hospital, you know. Green means, you know, energy saving and so on. We have already one mosque, green mosque, and it's platinum rated, you know, in terms of green building. So we are doing everything like green, uh, blended with uh, innovation and smart, you know, system and so on. How do you foresee Cyberjaya in the next 20 years? I see Cyberjaya in a, in a different way. It's an efficient, you know, green uh, city, where you know all the transportation system are you know green based and more public transport people don't drive that much even if they drive it will be autonomous car you know driverless car and uh, more people will be cycling you know to work and so on and also there will be a lot of robots working you know helping people in in their in their work it's like a you know star wars which you see somewhere in the galaxy that kind of thing, you know. So a lot of things will come into Cyberjaya, the new thinking, new way of doing smart city. That's why it's important for you all to come and talk to Cyberviews in Riam Prahat, to develop and work together for the future of Malaysia. And we've recorded it all here, 20 years down the road. Hopefully we'll see that happening. And mm -hmm. I'll be interviewing you again. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to say, see Daphne, I told you so. Well, thank you so much, Dan Sri, for I showing me I around. I live another 20 years to see that. Well, let's go <laughs> try out that fitness <laughs> thing here. Let's yeah. see how fit yeah. we are from there. So far, he's been out doing me and everything else, running, walking, cycling. I don't know about this app. So we're going to sign off now. And we're going to go check out that new app that um, Maria has just Of course, of about. course, you know, down the road we'll do more interviews, you know. Okay? Okay, see you. Suka. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> see you. You know, I, I think I did pretty well considering the fact that yeah. this is my first oh, time and that I've got... I see, I'm sure you can be there. I don't want to show, you know. <laughs> <laughs> With such a holistic ecosystem that provides business setup support 
for all levels, be it startups and SMEs to the corporate giants and MNCs, Cyberjaya as a global tech hub enabler is definitely the capital of creation.